Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Corsair IQ H150i Elite Capolux. This is a pros and cons video, so I'm going to be talking about the highlights and lowlights of this 360ml cooler from Corsair that will set you back around $180 or £180 sterling. I've done an unboxing and setup video that I'll link to in the description, which goes into a lot more depth. But here I just wanted to talk to you about the various pros and cons of this cooler, what I like about it, what I don't, the problems that you might have during the installation process, the niggles and the things that are really awesome about it. And it is a nice device with some pretty decent specs and some very nice highlights that include these ML120 RGB fans. These are not standard Corsair ML fans and they are not the pro ones either. They are faster, quieter and also have more LEDs in them. You will note they don't have anti-vibration mounts on them though, which is a bit odd, but they are very quiet and they run really nicely. Now this cooler comes with three of these fans included in the box and Corsair recommends installing them in this way as in pulling cold air across the radiator through the fins with the fins facing towards the radiator which is odd because that means you're not going to see the RGB lighting that well if you're installing it as they suggest which is a bit strange. Now I want to talk to you about one of the gripes that I have with this cooler that I have with a lot of Corsairs all-in-one coolers unfortunately and that is the radiator setup because unfortunately it is always very difficult to do and that still reigns true with this new H150i Elite Capolix as well in that the fins get in the way of the screws and it is very very difficult to screw them in. Here you can see a close-up shot of it where basically you look through the screw holes and you'll see the fins from the radiator itself are in the way and it is very difficult to do and it needs a lot of elbow grease to push through that and it can give you blisters and just generally be a pain. I had a previous comment on one of my other videos where I complained about this where someone suggested using a drill, that's an option. I personally used this tip for my screwdriver which is essentially flat and then just wiggled it around in the holes until it pushed the fins out of the way a little bit but it wasn't a perfect system because it's not quite long enough so you're really going to need something that you can jam in there and move those fins out so you can then screw it in more easily. The end result for me is what I'm trying to do here instead, going against what Corsair recommends, but putting the fans facing the other way around and putting them against the front of my case and you'll see that a bit later on. You can check out the unboxing video to get more of an overview. One of the other highlights to the cooler is that it comes with these two faceplate options so you basically can swap out the faceplates to make the most of the RGB lighting. Obviously the RGB lighting is a big deal, not only do you get eight LEDs per fan but you also have multiple LEDs on the pump head itself which are individually addressable within the Corsair IQ software meaning you can really customize the look and feel of it and make it look swanky. You'll see there's a back plate and a clear one obviously the clear one lets through a lot more of that RGB lighting and you can make the most of it and get a really nice looking view inside your PC with all sorts of RGB goodness. This is also a very quiet cooler with fans that are capable of running at zero RPM but even in quiet mode they're insanely quiet. These fans obviously have two cables per fan which has always been a bit of a niggle. However this new cooler comes with IQ Commander Core instead of a Commander Pro and a lighting node you now have an all-in-one system that allows you to control RGB and power from one box. This is definitely a highlight and a wonderful device that Corsair has created. A little control box that basically needs SATA power and then to be plugged into the USB header on your motherboard and you can then attach the pump head to it and all the fans. You can plug up to six RGB fans into this so I'm plugging in the MLs for example but it would probably work with QLs or LLs as well and you can see one side is the RGB connector and one side is the power connector so you just basically need to find a spot in your case where you can stick this commander core and then you can plug everything into it 
So making sure that the cables have enough length and that you'll be able to reach the pump cable and the fan cables and obviously still have that length to plug into the USB header on your motherboard and get SATA power as well. Here I've put it on a Airflow 4000D from Corsair and installed that sort of centrally where the SSD trays would otherwise go but there are other spots you could put it, you just need to find somewhere where it will just be satisfactory and would work well. The all-in-one cooler is also compatible with numerous different socket types and I'll leave all those specifications and what you can install it on in the description and you'll find it on Corsair's website too. And the setup process is for the most part very straightforward and easy. All the instructions are included in the box. However, there is a bit of a niggle where there was for me in that socket 1200, which is the latest Intel setup, Although it will support it, the instructions aren't that clear. I think maybe they were written before the socket came out, but basically it will fit with the same as the 2011 setup, I believe. Basically, you need the Intel backplate and you need the standoff screws at the same length on either side, and then just the thumb screws to screw it down. Fairly straightforward process. Once you know what you're doing, but it just requires a little bit of thought. The end result, as you can see, is pretty magnificent. Here you can see it alongside Corsair's Dominator RAM and the ML RGB Pro fans, which are worth noting don't spin as fast as the one on the radiator and they only have four LEDs, so it's difficult to achieve the same look and feel. So that's a weird complaint about this radiator as well, is that it comes with fans that are so fancy you won't find standard ML fans that give the same results. So this doesn't look perfect in that the internal fans are not the same as the one on the radiator which is a shame. However, the result is still pretty spiffing and it does deliver good cooling performance. In IQ software, you can also control the settings and you can see you have performance for each individual fan and the pump and you can go quiet, balanced, extreme and zero RPM, which is where it runs really quietly as long as it's at a certain temperature. If it's at a low temp, it will run without the fan spinning so you can run it really quietly. But even on quiet, I was surprised by how quiet this pump is and how quiet those fans run. And it's joyful in that way. One thing I did note in the unboxing video is that I noted when it was very quiet though, I, I could hear the pump, I could hear it whining ever so slightly. I think maybe in transit it's had an issue that will hopefully go away over time. It's not something I've seen in other Corsair coolers. I've never had an issue with this. However, I think maybe because the fans run so quietly as a minimum that it, you really just do notice when the pump is running in that way. Now, the next highlight for me is the way that you can customize the lighting. The RGB lighting is customizable on the pump. As you can see, if you look here within the IQ software, you can see you can customize individual LEDs and they're addressable not only with all the different predefined settings and the various spiral rainbows, shift color shifting and patterns and sequential modes and whatever else but you can also customize it in static colors and you can layer the colors and you can set it up the way you want it and create some pretty nice visual effects directly on the pump itself. You can also create those on the fans as well that accompany it and any other fans that you plug into it too that are Corsair and they go into that commander unit and you can see it here on the, the ml fans that are included as i said these have eight leds that are individually addressable within the software so you can customize those and they look really nice these fans really do a good job they're quiet and wonderful looking too and the fact that you can tweak them in such a way it's also really joyful it's hard to overstate how wonderful it is to have one control box to do it all. In the past if you had six fans you needed multiple control lighting nodes and a commander pro to get the best experience. Now you've got it all controlled in one box and you can see the pump and the fans all in one place within IQ and really it's a much easier setup process and easier to control too. You can see you can set all sorts of lighting schemes and customize the look and feel of that pump head in a really nice way. Now for testing purposes I ran this with various benchmarking software and then I ran folding at home all day long from early in the morning until late in the evening and that was using 100% of my CPU and quite a bit of the GPU throughout the day and it was in a room with 
the windows and doors shut as well so it was a pretty hot day and it got pretty hot but the result was pretty good it got around 70 degrees centigrade on the cpu despite being under 100 percent load 65 ish on the gpu 50 ish on the ram and generally it wasn't too bad in terms of the performance those fans do get loud when it's running but i had that set to balance and it wasn't too bad and as i said on quiet it's ridiculously quiet and very very good in that way all in all a really nice cooler with a few minor niggles but some brilliant updates in terms of the commander control unit and those ml fans that are included are quiet and wonderful looking with the rgb lighting so a really good cooler if you're looking for an all-in-one solution from a company you can trust because i've always enjoyed corsair's products and never had a problem with them in the past hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you've got any questions thanks for watching this has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it useful, interesting, hilarious, or all of the above. Be sure to check out the description for other information you might find interesting, and subscribe and watch these other videos as well that I think might be useful to you. And have a great life.